Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today we are doing a really fun one. I am testing out TJ Maxx and Marshall's makeup and this is the look that I came up with today and I just absolutely love it. It makes me so happy, super colorful. I am feeling the colorful looks. We are finally testing out Cara Beauty in today's video. I'm so, so excited about it and lots of other gems, tons of stuff I found on clearance. So stay tuned. I'm going to share everything with you guys and give you a breakdown on what I used and it is going to be so much fun. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial or if you are here and you are new, hey, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It is the red button and also tap that little bell down there so you don't miss out on my new uploads. I do tons of affordable beauty, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Dollar Tree, five below, all that fun stuff. So join the family. If you guys want to find out how I did this look, then keep watching. You're going to be pleasantly surprised like I was on everything I use. So let's get into it. Alright guys, I am so excited to get started. I have not filmed a tutorial in quite some time because I just had like a backlog of stuff that I had already filmed for you guys that I've been uploading every week. So now the time has come for me to do another tutorial and it is TJ Maxx makeup which gets me excited because you guys know I film budget beauty buys every single week. So to finally be able to try some of the stuff that I have found from week to week is just such a fun experience. So today we are going to be trying out my very first palette from Cara Beauty. I could not be more excited about this. I'm a little scared to say this. La Chica Enamorada. Hopefully I said that decently. This is an eyeshadow palette with the most beautiful, adorable packaging. And I love the colors in here and the price tag. You guys, this was $4.99 for Marshalls. So many palettes to choose from. I'm probably going to end up picking up a bunch more. Like, look how stunning that cover is. And I have never seen such a beautiful selection of a variety of eyeshadows. I'm finally testing out this brand this year. So this is super exciting. And wait till you guys see the inside of this so i went with this one because these colors were just absolutely speaking to me they are so pretty oh my goodness and i'm seeing on the back here they are paraben free as well as cruelty free which is absolutely amazing i love that you get like warm shades up here and then you get this whole like pink purple color story you even get some beautiful beautiful shimmers over here that I cannot wait to dive into so the only thing that is not in here is a matte brow bone shade so I'm just gonna pull from another palette and I'm also realizing we have to put on some eyeshadow primer eyeshadow primer I'm just gonna use my believe beauty eyeshadow primer you can get this from dollar general I absolutely love believe beauty I think their products are awesome I'm trying to upload one tutorial a week that seems to kind of be what's working for me. Tutorials don't get as many views as my other videos, unfortunately. But I just feel like I still want to do them because I love testing out new makeup. So I'm just going to keep on doing them. I upload so many videos every week that I just like incorporating it into my filming schedule and uploads. So hopefully, those of you who are watching, I just want to say thank you for watching my tutorials. I know watching tutorials is not popular and I'm just grateful for whoever does watch these and enjoys them. I cut my finger this morning. That was not fun. Y'all are gonna laugh at me. I was cutting a pickle for my sandwich for lunch and I was like a little distracted because we had people here who were like cleaning our dryers, I guess. And then the knife just like slipped and oh gosh, cut my finger. I actually heard that the reason for the most emergency room visits is from people who cut their finger on avocados. Thank God I was not going to the emergency room because I cut my finger on a pickle. It, it was pretty deep. I can't stand stuff like that. I hate blood and oh my goodness, just freaks me out, man. Is anyone like me? I can't stand blood or any like medical things i am petrified absolutely petrified like whoo lord have mercy on me you now the fun begins we get to pick and play around with this cara beauty palette which is so pretty so i'm just gonna start out doing my crease so i'm gonna pick up this 
orangey crease shade right here and pop that into the crease. I'm actually going to come closer so you guys can see better. And you actually get a mirror in here, which I think is amazing for $4.99. Like, come on. That is a amazing value right there. And I'm already liking the way that this crease shade is applying. This is pigmented. Do you guys see that? That is really nice. Have to film this video today because I am so excited to test out these products. I've been on a huge palette kick recently. This is like the fourth palette I've bought. So I kind of have to slow down my palette buying. But I was like, thank God I decluttered because all these palettes, man. So many shades in here that I want to play with. Okay, this shadow is so good. Like... Yes. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with this shade, which is a little bit deeper, and just work that into the crease, that shade right there. I love that you get like two different sections of this palette, essentially, so you can do a neutral look or you can do something a little bit more colorful, too. I'm going to take some concealer, preferably a thicker one. This is the CoverGirl True Blend, I think is it? True Blend Undercover. You guys already know <laughs> this is my favorite thing to lay down my lid shade. So I'm just going to essentially like lay a base down and cut my crease. It's like instantly makes your eyeshadow look so good. Why baby? Just essentially cleaning up what we just applied. Now that we lay down our base, I'm gonna play with some of these pink shades. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this light pink shade right here. The first part of my eye here and just pack it on. And do the same thing for this eye. So this is gonna be like the first third of the eye. Then I wanna take this purple shade right here, that light lilac purple. These all have names by the way on the back, which is nice. This one is called Siento. Did I get that part right? Yeah, Siento. So I'm going to pick up that shade. And these are matte, and I'm going to put that right on the shirt. And we're going to do some layering with shimmer shades. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I feel like a cotton candy ice cream right now, and I'm loving it. Bring on the color. Bring on the color. Definitely going to be picking up the green palette as well. How fun is that? Then I'm going to pick up this shade, which is like this kind of middle tone pink. Still bright. Put that right next to that purple. I'm gonna pick up a little more of that purple because I feel like I lost some of it. And just put that back on the middle. I'm just gonna go in with a clean blending brush and just kind of blend a little around the edges here. Now I wanna have some fun with some shimmers, so I'm just gonna spray a flat synthetic brush. This shade right here, it's like a shimmery pink. That one is called Mirada, right there. I'm gonna put this on top of that first lid shade that we applied. And I'm just kind of lightly packing it on. And then same for this eye. Just felt like layering some shimmers on top because they looked so pretty. I'm gonna take this shimmery purple shade right here. It's called Hermosa. I'm just going to put that on the center, right on top of that purple we applied. Ooh, this one is so pretty. It has this blue duochrome glitter, but it's still like purple, and I really love the way this looks. Oh my gosh, this like pop on the center is gorgeous. So don't be afraid to like layer mattes with shimmers because it just kind of helps to make the colors more vibrant. It's so pretty and it blends nice into the pink. So I'm just gonna go again on this eye. 
and I'm just packing it onto the lid. That is absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me of like a butterfly. I'm so happy with this palette so far. It'll be really nice too, all over the lid with a cut crease. That would be really pretty. And I'm thinking I might just leave the outer corner matte and just add a deeper shade in there. We have more of this shade right here. It's that like deep pinky purple shade. I'm going to put that on the outer corner again. Just to work this color in. I'm just using like a tiny little crease brush for this. So be careful because you don't want to blend over that glitter that we just applied and just pack this on there's a tiny bit of fallout but honestly it's not bad and i'll just go back in with a little bit of that crease shade we used and just blend far obsessed with this eye look don't worry it's gonna look better when i have everything completed like eyeliner eyeshadow it's gonna look much better. Just adding a little more of that shimmery pink to the inner corners of my eyes. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to try and follow along with what I did up here. Lilac purple shade. That along. This shade. You don't have to put the shimmer on top of that if you don't want to. It's really just your preference okay i definitely like the way that that is looking with just that little bit of the shimmer on the bottom all right so the eyes are pretty much done i just went in and i used a matte brow bone shade to just clean up the outer edge and with the pink i did have to kind of go on and layer it a little bit more so you kind of have to play with it this shade right here to get it like the exact pigmentation you want but wow still wow like even with having to layer which I don't mind at all because I really like these like very high pigmented bright shades. So good, not chalky. They blend really, really nicely. You do have to kind of layer, like I was saying, those brighter shades, but oh my goodness, <laughs> I am in love. I'm going to actually go and do my eyeliner and my mascara off camera because I don't have a TJ Maxx eyeliner or mascara to test out today so I will do that and then I will come back and we will keep on playing with the other products that I have. I have a lot of base products. And we're back. Um, I finished doing my mascara. We'll do the lower mascara later. Let's move on to some face items I picked up recently at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So if you guys saw my vlog, I showed you that I sanitized this milk. What is this called? Flex foundation stick. I have the shade light beige bitch I said that's so weird I don't know how the match on this is going to be but I figured we would try it together I've been waiting to film this video to test this out so let's see I did cut off the top and I sanitized with alcohol and left it overnight and this is like the first time I've tried any sort of foundation before from milk so this is what it looks like I got this on clearance I think it was like three dollars which is crazy so I want to do one side with a brush and one side with a sponge to see how I like it. I think I'm probably gonna like the brush better, but we will see. I already moisturized my face, but I'm wondering, should I do a primer? Maybe let's do a primer. Take a little bit of this Revolution Pore Perfecting Primer Balm, which you can get this at TJ Maxx as well. It's onto any areas where I have some pores, making my pores look a little bit less visible. It doesn't like blend them completely, but I just feel like it gives my face a really nice smooth canvas like this basically and then what I want to do actually is just spray my sponge so it's a little easier to blend out all right this actually looks like a decent match for me Bridge looks pretty natural let's get a little more on the nose here crazy how basically like the entire milk makeup line ended up at TJ Maxx. I'm not mad at it. I mean it looks pretty nice. To this side. Spray my brush a little. This is, I'll let you guys know, Flat Top by Beauty Junkies. Ooh, I love the color. 
coverage of the brush better just like I thought I was going to because you could really like press it into the skin so much more smooth and airbrushed and flawless I'm actually really happy with the way that my skin looks today Okay, so I picked up this kit also. I think this was from, yeah, TJ Maxx, $9.99. And the reason I got this was because I literally just wanted this corrector. It's the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector in Light to Medium. And I have seen this everywhere, all over TikTok. The other items in here are a mini highlighter and champagne pop, which I already own. So I'm going to save that for a giveaway. And also the Becca Ever Matte poreless priming perfector as you guys know becca is closing very soon the whole brand is shutting down <laughs> stock up on some stuff and if there's anything you're looking for from becca just head over to tj maxx because they have so many items from the line I literally had already put concealer on and then i was like shoot i wanted to test out this under eye thing so bad so i just took off my under eyes literally so i could try this product little mini champagne pop we have the famous little under eye corrector and it all was like in this little tissue paper I said this is amazing for like covering dark under eye circles so i think some people are actually using this just as like their concealer but i'm probably also going to put a concealer on top of this wow i'm just pressing in with my finger you can see why people like this because it has that brightening effect and it looks really good underneath the eyes. Like I instantly see my under eyes look so much brighter with this. I can definitely see this become a staple in my routine for my under eyes. I'm always looking for something to brighten up under there. That looks really good. I think some people are even just using this as concealer without even anything on top of it. Really, really good. So definitely impressed with that. And I'm just going to go on top of that with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I don't have a new concealer from TJ Maxx to use today. So we'll just use this. Something from my collection. And just a little. I feel like when you use such a brightening product like that Becca one, you really don't need that much concealer, which is what is so great. Get it very lightly with my Believe Beauty Translucent Powder. So just a tiny bit on the brush. So good. I really like the way my under eyes look. I honestly feel like they just look super flawless and not creasy or dry or anything. We have a highlighter to try. This is the Rachel Zoe and Lorac collab Face and Body Diamond Dust. And I heard this was amazing. This was only $4.99. And wait till you guys see this thing. It's called Diamond Shine, in case you're wondering. This thing is huge. Look at this gorgeous packaging. It's like zebra print very pretty oh my goodness it is huge looks so high-end and beautiful wow it is like glitter city okay we're gonna have to see what it is if it's like a little too glittery if i use something a little less dense like this so i'm gonna swirl my brush in there tap off the excess and literally everything just went flying oh my gosh that is crazy do you guys see that? Wow, that is intense. This is like one swipe. Look at this. Boom. One swipe. I actually kind of love that. Like, hi. That's crazy. I don't even want to add more because that's literally all you need. I'm just adding a little touch on the forehead. That is so fun. I really, really like this. I'm to play with, but first I'm just going to do a little bit of cream contouring using my Avon Magic Swan in Praline. You guys know I love this. And just going all the way up here and then blending that out with my sponge. Get that forehead nice and chiseled. the chin area that's a must must get that contoured love this product so much on top of that we are going to try this product bare minerals this is the faux tan i found this for like two dollars or was it i think it was actually like 70 cents so it's just a powder bronzer and this is like i think a pretty famous product 
from Bare Minerals. So it's just a powder. I'm gonna use a like little stippling brush like this. So I'm just gonna pick up, ooh, that was way too much. Pick up a little bit, but then chop off the excess and then go over the contour. And I guess this is just literally supposed to make you look like you have a tan, which I need because I haven't self tan. I just feel a little pale. Got really pretty like tan glow to the skin and make sure you're getting over here on the side of the face because I feel like that's an area that always gets ignored. I'm like loving all these makeup trends for 2021 because I actually really enjoy them and I feel like they have like changed my face and I want to do a whole video on that for you guys. So pretty and this bronzer is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna just get some on my nose. I do have to separately kind of contour my nose a little but I'm just gonna add some of this. It doesn't look too bad. I just added a little onto my nose, so I might not even contour it. Lower lashes. Just a little. Okay, lips. We have some lip products to work with here. Some new guys that I've been wanting to test out. So we have the Lime Crime Velveteen Lip Liner in the shade Drew. You guys know that I love these. So I got this for $3.99 at TJ Maxx. You can find these basically at Marshalls too because I see them everywhere. One of my favorite creamy lip line formulas. It is so, so good. And the packaging is just spot on, like adorable with all the little roses. I am just going to apply this like I normally do. I do like to overline my lips a bit. This is like a deeper tone, uh, mauve kind of shade. It's really pretty for overlining. Went a little too ham and cheese there. And you can shade this in on your lips too. Do you guys see how pretty this is? Oh, I love it. Such a pretty color. I'm obsessed. Then I have this from NARS. It's the Unlaced Velvet Lip Glide which is also from TJ Maxx. This is not a recent purchase, but I don't have a new lipstick to try. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like cake. Oh, I could eat this. Perfect nude color. So good. These are more of like a thinner formula, but they go on the lips really nicely. I don't know how this is gonna be because I have another gloss to try. This is a new find I haven't tried yet. It's the Lipstick Queen Altered Universe Gloss in the shade Asteroid. And this was $4.99 at Marshalls. How I'm gonna put this on top, but let's see. Stunning pink gold shimmer lip gloss. It is absolutely beautiful. So let's see what we can do here. I'm just gonna try and put this on top. basically just adds a little bit of shimmer makes the lips look extra juicy and extra glossy I love it our last step is blush I don't have a new TJ Maxx blush so let me find something that will work I'm gonna go with one of my tried and true favorites the all may healthy hue blush in I think this is the peach shade these are amazing one of my favorite blushes ever is an angled brush this is the uh, Luxie 504 large angles and apply this right on top of my cheeks here. It just gives the most beautiful glow to the cheeks. I absolutely love these. I hope they come out with more colors. I feel like I look like I have one of those like crazy Instagram filters on right now. <laughs> That's what I feel like and I kind of love it. Um, this is the final look. See? The lashes I'm wearing because I didn't do it on camera. This is a brand called Muse. I don't know. Oh, okay. Boldfacemakeup.com. This is the Bring It On Lash, but I actually just took one and I cut it and I put it on the outer edge, which I love because I have now two pairs of lashes. I can cut this one and do another set. And these just look so good. I feel like they really make the eye look and just 
makes everything look super cat eye. This is from TJ Maxx. I got it on clearance for $2. The Dickinson's Refreshingly Clean Face Mist Fragrance and Paraben Free Refreshes Skin Without Over Drying 99% Witch Hazel with Aloe. So let's go ahead and spray this. It has a really nice fine mist. It's like an aerosol fine mist. It's literally the perfect <laughs> mist. I couldn't ask for a better little bottle. I feel like every setting spray should come in a bottle like this. And if you just want to kind of touch up any areas. And I just touched up my lip liner a little bit. I like to go in after and just add a little bit more around the edges. All right, guys, this is the final look testing out new makeup from TJ Maxx. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely loving the way that this came out. I am obsessed with the eyes. I think if I had to pick a favorite product out of everything I used today, even though I really enjoyed everything, it would have to be this Cara Beauty La Chica and the Moral Rada. <laughs> I can't say it right palette has my heart it is absolutely stunning i love the look i was able to create that purple the shimmers the mattes oh my gosh you guys go run out and get this for $4.99 it's so so pretty i am definitely gonna be buying tons more of these palettes now that i know how good they are it's so funny because you guys know i've been looking at these for weeks and i've been showing them to you guys but i never bit the bullet and i don't know why because they're so cheap but i was like ah they're probably not that good but then I was like I really want to try it like they did such a fabulous job on the design of the actual palette and the formula is so so nice I had such a fun time using these and working with these shadows and that definitely says a lot and I'm gonna say I think Cara Beauty is like the color pop of TJ Maxx and Marshalls that's how I feel because they are amazing formula and they are super affordable and have absolutely beautiful stunning packaging i love how she has like butterflies in her bun i want this like entire look that she's wearing i actually want to do like a video like replicating this entire look but i love the way the eyes came out i am so so happy with it and the pigmentation and the quality you guys pick this up everything else i use let's see i i really loved everything the faux tan i feel so tan with this definitely if you guys find this even not on clearance it's super cheap um, I think it's usually like $4.99, but snag this. I really feel like I just got back from the beach. This Rachel Zoe and Lorac highlighter is super pretty and sparkly. If you're not a sparkle fan, I mean, pass on it. But if you do like sparkle in your life and the packaging alone is just gorgeous, even as like a compact, it's beautiful. I can't open it. <laughs> this setting spray from Dickinson's just gives the perfect mist that you are looking for in a setting spray and it really meshes everything together with your makeup and takes away that powdery look. I actually forgot to show this on camera because I didn't film my eyeliner because I didn't want this video to take forever. But the NYX Epic Ink Liner, I got this holiday one from, I think it was TJ Maxx. Absolutely a must buy. This is one of, if not the best, liquid eyeliners ever. It makes doing your eyeliner so easy. The little Becca set, I really, really enjoyed the under eye brightening corrector. I feel like this is definitely worth the hype. I felt like I could literally just wear this by itself and not even put concealer on. It is that good. The alternate Universe Lipstick. I love this color Asteroid. I just think it is so stunning with the pink and the gold. I'm definitely going to continue to use that. Liner from Lime Crime, the Velveteens in Drew absolutely a must buy i think it is phenomenal Pretty much everything or the things that i loved the most so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this look and seeing it come together let me know in the comments down below if you're going to pick up any of these items and definitely more of these videos to come i want to try and film one of these like every month because i want to keep testing out all the TJ Maxx and Marshalls makeup that I find. So thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. And again, if you watch this tutorial, then you are the real MVP. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.